Creates here, coming back at you with my weekly floss tube. And I think I'm at 91 today. Are you guys keeping track? I only keep track when I actually title the video. I don't think about it beforehand. But I think I'm at 91, so we're getting there. Um, I'm not sure where we're getting. <laughs> but, you know. We're just counting up the days, counting down the days, counting all the days. What is today? Today is... February 18th, Tuesday. It is 10.50 a.m. Oh, the sun had been out and now it's gone. It's been raining all morning and then all of a sudden the sun came out. I was like, oh, perfect timing for the video, great light. It's gone again because Hawaii. Been raining all weekend. Um, I guess we had a good day Sunday, actually. Yeah, rained yesterday. Anyway, welcome to my channel. For those that are new, you never know what you're going to see here. You just never know what I'm going to get myself into. <laughs> but you guys support me fantastically, and I appreciate that so much. For those of you that have been, been with me for the long haul, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you keep coming back, and your support means the world to me, and your friendship means the world to me. So, what is happening this week? Oh, poor Mike. He is so frustrated. Um, not really any move forward in the whole move to San Antonio thing. Um, just news that there isn't any. <laughs> he found out last week that the last signature that was needed from here, from the commander here, um, happened on January 17th. And it went back, the SPF, the form, went back to um, HR and sat there until last week when he got his next level up boss in on it, who went to the boss of HR, who went to the desk of the person that was supposed to be handling it and looked over her shoulder to make sure she did something with it. Unfortunately, he found out at the same time. So what she was supposed to do was send it back to somebody at Fort Meade in Maryland, which is headquarters. Mike found out last week that HR back there could actually deny his move. <laughs> he had to write up huge, a huge justification for why he needed to curtail, which is what this form is about. Um, but HR apparently has the final say, even though all the powers that be, both in the gaining and the losing organization, said it's fine, it's fine, we're good. HR has the final say. Now, the chances of them actually denying the PCS are, are pretty slim, but he came home Friday, and this was after having a meeting with, there's a new boss above him who um, has never managed before, is not familiar with any of the work, um, any of the, the jobs that his organization does. He comes from outside the organization and he's a micromanager and he's not willing to take any advice from Mike, who has done all of these jobs, who has managed for years. Um, so Mike came home pretty, pretty damn disgusted. <laughs> and he was pretty damn disgusted all weekend. Sunday, we did go out with our friends who were visiting here from Maryland. We went on hiking and um, they came here and chilled and then we went out for dinner. Um, so the video, or the, um, no videos this week, but the pictures you saw at the beginning are of the hike. Um, interesting story. Not far into the hike, we came across a man with a couple of dogs that had radio controls on them. And he had a big machete on his hip and a sack. <laughs> and we got to talking and um, turns out he was out hunting boar which is a thing here. There's a there's an overpopulation of wild boar on the island, and so there is, um, there's hunting allowed. But it's not with guns, it's with dogs. And so the dogs chase down the boar and I guess take it down, and then the guy skinned it and hacked it, and he had chunks of boar meat <laughs> in his little sack. He's like, yeah, the dogs are, because the dogs are just kind of laying around. Yeah, they're pretty well satiated. They've had their fill of bacon this morning, and he proceeded to tell us. So we chatted with him for a little while, proceeded down the path a little bit, and there was another gentleman that came along that must have had the rest of the pack. 
he must have had 15 dogs, 10 to 15 dogs, all with radio controls on them. So, um, yeah, he said the boar they got was a little one. There was more out there, so beware, but we didn't see any. Um, I have seen one across the street here in our complex in the woods. Um, it actually ran away from a cat, <laughs> so I'm not real worried. <laughs> it was a little one. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was, it was a fun walk. It was, um, muddy in places, pretty water in places, fun to be out with our friends. So anyway, they fly back tonight. They're coming over for dinner and then they catch a red eye back to Maryland tonight, but it was good to see them. Um, other than that, pretty quiet weekend. Excuse me. I did release a new pattern yesterday and there will be a lot more about that coming up in the video. Um, cross stitch related. Oh, let's get to cross stitch related. Cross stitch related news. Um, I mentioned last week the Nashville Needlework Market hashtag on Instagram and I showed you that sneak peek from one of Teresa Kogut's releases. Julie, Gulf Coast Stitches. She has a Facebook page and she is posting, when she's given permission to start posting for pre-orders, she's doing that. I pre-ordered four of Teresa Kogut's new patterns. She has a new angel out with a blue flowered dress. Stunning. Um, that sampler that I showed you, another sampler called um, Heaven and Nature Sing, and a fourth one that I don't remember. Oh my goodness. Teresa's releasing, I think she has three or four more, plus a book called Celebrations that is a compilation, I think, of 13 of her older patterns. Yeah, I stopped at four. <laughs> but now I have my eye out to see what other new releases I can't, I can't resist. You know, last year I didn't get on the new release bandwagon at all because of course these are gonna be available in your stores for years, right? But these ones of Teresa's, I had to, I had to jump on. So, have fun looking at the needlework at the Nashville Needle Market Needlework. The market releases. I encourage you to check out the hashtag. Check out Julie Gulf Coast Stitchers Facebook group if you want to um, have a good place to pre-order. I guess apparently some places, some stores are offering pre-orders. Like Brenda Gervais hasn't released hers yet for pre-order. Um, Paula Stewart, Plum Street Samplers, hasn't released hers yet for pre-order, and I guess some stores are kind of jumping on the bandwagon before they actually get the designer release, so Julie is like, she's by the board, she's she's doing it right, so I encourage you to, to check her out. Other news, two new floss tubers um, just put up their first videos yesterday. So first, X-Stitch MD, Shiloh, um, I first became aware of her. She, she's one of my followers on my channel. I enable her like right, left, center. I know I enable a lot of you out there. <laughs> um, but I follow her on Instagram too and I love seeing her progress on stuff. She joined us in the Farewell to Anger Sal starting January 1st. She put up her first video yesterday and she has a lot of fantastic pro um, projects, several of them encouraged by me. <laughs> so I encourage you to check out her channel. I will link that below. Um, the other one is Maria Kutzner. Now Maria, I've mentioned her multiple times here on the channel. She's gifted me with many things over the past year. I first met her um, when we were driving the RV out to Arizona to store it there before we came out here to Hawaii. Um, Maria and her husband Don came up to meet us in Taos. There was a wool festival happening in Taos at that, that weekend that we were there. So they drove up from Dallas and we spent some time together at the wool festival, um, first time meeting. And it was just like, you know, how you just click with some people. And that's how I was with Maria. Um, so I am absolutely thrilled to see her with her first floss tube. She's been talking about it for a little while. Um, Maria is multi -craftual. she is a phenomenal sewer, she makes project bags, she quilts, she crochets, she knits, and of course she stitches. She works at the, um, the Stitch Niche outside of Dallas. Um, 
So yeah, great projects. I can't wait to see what all she does with her channel. She showed some of her hauls, some of her past projects, her whips. I mean, I will again link her below, but I am just thrilled to see Maria with it with a her first fl floss tube video. Um, something else just went whipping through my mind, and I apparently didn't catch it in time as I was talking about Maria. So maybe it'll come back to me. Maybe it won't. <laughs> anyway, that's the news that I have from my little corner of the world. Um, stitching. Oh, that's the that's what it was. Kind of a shop to update, kind of not. Um, and I will probably mention it again, but I want to, want to mention it here at the beginning because I know not, no, not all of you get a chance to watch the whole way to the end. Um, the Puerto Rico ch charity chart, don't forget that if you are interested. I'm going to wait till the end of the month and then I will um, gather the earnings together and donate them to the charity that we picked. All hearts and hands, all hands and hearts. Um, a volunteer program that helps rebuild uh, areas that have been stricken by natural disasters. And of course we are donating to their Puerto Rico effort. Also my spring flourish pattern. Let's see, it is the 18th. You still have a couple of weeks yet um, that it will remain free. But if you haven't gotten that yet, a ton of you already have. But if you haven't gotten that yet, grab it while it's free because at the end of the month, it is going back up to the regular price of 1050. Okay. What have you been stitching on, Jan? What have you guys been stitching on? Join me on my Facebook group, Jan Hicks Creates Stunning Cross Stitch Designs, and show me, I'd love to see it. All right, so, worked a tiny little bit on Jane Marshall, and I love seeing all the Jane Marshalls being worked on out there and being finished. You know, everybody is putting their own special twist on it, um, and I love it. I'm putting my own special twist on mine, of course, this is 40 Count Liberty Gray Gathering by r, &R Reproductions Fabric. This is Mrs. Seda's silk, but it is not her silk pack that she put together. These are just ones I've picked out. So it's a little bit different than, than hers. Um, some of the colors are the same, but some are different. So I decided yesterday, I, I only worked on it yesterday morning. I didn't, didn't haven't worked on it much this week. But as I was starting to work on it yesterday, I was looking at, I don't know whether you can see down here, do you see how there's the gray in the center of the flowers? That, that's the called for, well, called for, that gray is the color. It's my substitution of Mrs. Sadis gray. You knew that, right? Um, I just decided that was kind of dark. I had this one already stitched in the dark gray and with the dark green coming down, and this green is a little darker than the called for, but with this dark green coming down into this dark gray, it just kind of, I mean, you can see, it just kind of loses any definition in the center of the flower. So I changed that to the cream that I'm using in the center of the, the kind of surrounding vine. This is actually a yellow in the called for color and I went with the cream and I really like that better. I like how that brightens that up and kind of makes that center stand out a little more. So I'm gonna try and be more consistent on working on that because it does go, you know, I think this is the, the area of the bottom band is the area where there's the most stitching. It's the most heavily stitched. So once I get past that, it'll go pretty quickly. Um, so many other things calling my name, right? I did work a little more on um, the t by the sea or by by the bay time for season stitch along. She did release the second part of the autumn scene, so we now have the complete autumn scene to stitch. Um, I got a chunk more done over the course of the week. Not as much as I had hoped, of course, because there's a certain something else that has been calling my name and I will show that to you in a second. But the other thing I had to get done was part two of the Bloomtopia Stitch Along, another charity. This is for the Make-A-Wish Foundation um, of South and Central, of I almost said Florida, Texas, Central and South Texas. That is who Fat Quarter Shop, every year they do the, a, the charity 
stitch along. Well, ac this is their first stitch along. They usually do a quilt along um, and it's for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So part two is this section right in here. You can see, barely see my little pale flowers. I realized when I took the picture of it yesterday that this is up one. It's supposed to be in line with this and it's up one. I don't know that I'm gonna worry about it. So if you haven't joined this, I encourage you to join in. Like I said, we're only on part two. I'm really enjoying that. It's just little chunks, little bits each, each week. There's a new release every two weeks. So it's just a little tiny bit to do each week, but it's and it's over 12 weeks, but it's gonna build up to a really pretty little piece. It does mimic the motifs in the quilt. So that's kind of fun. I am stitching this on 32 count Wichelt Water Lily Linen from Fat Quarter Shop and Weeks Dye Works. It is charted in DMC and Ara Fill Cotton and I substituted in Weeks Dye Works. Again, I got them all from Fat Quarter Shop. The next release comes out, I meant to look that up for you. The, the, this release just came out on the 15th, um, so not till the end of the month, there's part three. So you have time to get some fabric and get some floss and get started and catch up. They are asking for a donation to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, and I will put all of those links again in the description box so you can easily not only find the, their charity page, but also, um, where you have to go to find the releases. I also have a page on my blog talking about my color conversions, so um, that will be linked below as well. But the main thing that's getting my attention, you know what it is, right? Narnia. And you know, I've been stitching my own design. <laughs> There's something kind of um, magical, fulfilling. You know, I find myself, this is kind of like um, ADHD stitching <laughs> because, you know, I work a piece and I work a little bit to see, is it stitching up? You know, I charted it and I think it looks really cool. How does it look stitched? And the, the computer generated stitched version, I mean, that, that's accurate, but it's still different, of course, and using oxide makes it totally look different too. But so I'm, I work a little bit, well, how's that gonna look stitched? I look at work a little bit, well, let me do these little motifs and see how that looks st stitched, is it balanced? Well, let me look work more of this and get that leaf in. <laughs> you know, so I'm just, I'm like bouncing all over the place, but I love it, and so, Mrs. Seda sold out of oxide. I think um, somebody let me know that I, Friday or Saturday, I don't remember which day. I just checked her site before I started recording and she is restocked. She has 12 skeins of oxide in her store. So she did buy some more, they are stocked. Um, grab it if you want it before it disappears again. She'll be doing more not to worry. This is obviously a huge seller and with good reason. You know, as beautiful as this looks, just, just looking at it, I mean, all the colors, right? Stitching with it, it's magical. It is magical. Seeing all of those colors play out in something I've designed. Yeah, I love it. Now, I did have a question about um, whether somebody could use one of the Silks For You colorways that looks like um, Raquel's Pride, so a rainbow colorway. I caution you against using one, even though there's all the different colors in that, I caution you against using something like that. There are some, let me bring up the pattern, and I guess I'm segueing into a shop update. There are some, hold on, motifs in here that 
are that are oh, this case is so heavy um like over here that are kind of full coverage and if you just use something like that that's just even though it's a lot of colors even though it'll be one color it'll be one floss any any um differentiation in the motif that I've created is going to be lost. So I encouraged her, she could use that rainbow colorway as one of the colors, but to find something, even black, something with a strong contrast or white, so that you have that differentiation amongst the motifs. Um, I do uh, thank you to all of those who um, supported me yesterday and bought it. A, a ton sold yesterday. It's selling again this morning. Um, I appreciate your belief in me and your faith in me. Um, I think I'm, I'm thrilled that you like my design. You know, you never know when you're creating something like this, if, if people are going to, um, if people are gonna like it or not, cause it's, it's kind of, it's a sampler. You know, it's all kinds of different motifs put together. I loved creating it. I loved figuring out something to fill in those diamonds, creating the little blocks to kind of fill in the empty spaces. Um, I was actually going to go with other, like these corner pieces up here, but then I came across those little circular designs with the grape, the grapes hanging down and decided, oh yeah, those would fit perfectly up there. So, I appreciate your faith in me. Um, so there's a lot of you that I hope to see you started fairly soon. I also have some of my model stitchers who um, are going to be stitching it and posting it out there for you to see different samples of it. There is one who's gonna be stitching it in the called for colors. There's a couple who are gonna be stitching it in kind of like a light and dark of the same shade um, or the same color so that um, you know, you can see what the different options are and what it looks like in the different options. So that's fun and I can't wait to start seeing those. Um, so like I said, Puerto Rico, um, make sure if you're interested in that to, to jump on that, that's going to be available as a charity, um, as a charity pattern indefinitely. Um, what's coming next? Oh, I meant to bring up Mike's shirt. <laughs> I told you that I get inspiration from everywhere, right? So one of the things I hope to get into and kind of develop a line of, a special line of, is kind of Hawaiian tribal patterns. So something like this. Mike has a Hawaiian shirt that is is a blue background with um, the leaves, like all the different tropical leaves, kind of different arrangements on the shirt, but the leaves are filled in with these kind of tribal stripes. I think that would be an awesome pattern. Um, some of the tribal tattoo looking type things. So I plan on doing some of those but also, I think the next one that I'm going to be working on, um, because this is the one that's weighing on my mind the most, is something along the lines of this. But the flower fill-ins will be more of like the Art, no Art Nouveau style. Um, I think that's pretty cool too, so I may try and do something like that as well. But a nine square with floral patterns. The backgrounds will be empty. I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna make them full coverage or anything like that. And actually that might be something cool to do is a bunch of separate ones and then you could arrange them as you want. I, w I was originally thinking that I would make it a big one. Um, but maybe I'll make it a bunch of separate ones. I don't know, a series, a series. What a concept. 
The other one that I absolutely love, and I can't wait to start getting my brain around. Oh, again, inspiration from everywhere. So I told you guys that, um, you know, Mike and I have been checking out Zillow constantly to see the houses coming on the market in San Antonio. So I was looking at one the other day and came across in one of the photos. Did you see that border, that wallpaper border at the top? Would that not make a cool cross stitch pattern? Different motifs, square border outline. This is what happens to me. So, I don't have I don't have any haul. <laughs> I'm looking around like, did I show? You know, the days are going so fast. I showed you that haul. Yeah, I showed you the fabric and the pattern I got. Yeah, that's over there. Um, I did take advantage of one thing though. All right, so I did take advantage of the Heaven and Earth Design sale and got a couple of the patterns that were on my wish list one of which is called Gardener's Paradise. This is one that Lynette Peters pointed out to me. And I just, oh my goodness. All the flowers, all the colors, love, love, love. So I got that. And then I also got another one on my wish list. World Travel Bookshelf. I got the max color one of this, so 240 colors. I know, kind of crazy. I've This is on my wish list for a long time. I don't know when I'll start it. But you know me and travel. I, I have to have this one. So, Heaven and Earth Designs got more of my money. I think that's all I got this week. I had said I was going to spend, spend some time up here this weekend um, sewing. That didn't happen. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Mike was so stressed. He could not stop thinking about work. Um, Friday evening, Saturday. So we basically didn't do anything but chill here in the apartment Saturday. And... Um, yeah, I didn't come up here. Sunday, we were out all day. Yesterday, oh my God, my knees hurt so bad from the hike on Sunday. I didn't want to walk up the stairs. I don't think, I. it's walking down that's the problem when you have this kind of knee problem that I have. I don't even know what it is, but going down hurts more than coming up. So I didn't want to walk up here and then have to walk back down. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't think I have anything else to show you. This feels like a fairly short one. Um, 32 minutes, that's good. I think that's it. Except our angel friend. Again, Teresa Kogut's angel cards. Let go and let God. He's had a plan for you all along. I've been telling Mike that all weekend. Honey, you have got to stop worrying about it. There is nothing you can do right now there is nothing you can do to control it, to change it, whether we're talking about the move or we're talking about his boss. Let go and let God. How pretty. All right, guys. Love you. Again, thank you for your support. Narnia will be linked below. Spring Flourish will be linked below. Puerto Rico will be linked below. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.